This month on Dive the Rock, we're at a site that is very popular, but if it's the first time for you, it can be very confusing. So we're here to clarify. Clayton Hill is a dive master here in Okinawa, and he's also our dive expert for our site this month. We're here at Birdcage on the seawall, and Clayton, walk me through this site. Uh, it's kind of hard to find the birdcage when you get to the seawall. It's a little confusing. So the birdcage uh, dive site is at the first pavilion on the south end of the Tsunabi seawall. It's okay. uh, the very first pavilion north of the south steps, okay. right next to the water treatment plant. In fact, some people actually refer to this as the water treatment plant. Okay, so the site is actually over our shoulders, right? Yes, it's just around this uh, bend here on the other side of this pavilion, which okay. is pavilion number one. It's pretty windy today, but can you walk me through kind of what a good dive day would be here? So the best conditions you're gonna find here, uh, obviously gonna be at high tide, preferably not following uh, a stormy period. Okay. Uh, so you'll get the best clarity in the water. Uh, if you do that, the sea life you can see down here is absolutely fantastic at both uh, the points of interest being the bird cage and the mushroom, which are near each other. And the best uh, time you can give here is if you uh, start at the mattress, which is a nice little concrete slab out there. It's a good point to collect uh, at the beginning at the end of the dive. Uh -huh. And from there, if you make a triangular circuit, can hit uh, both points of interest and meet back there and it makes for a very nice dive. Okay, so if I'm looking for the mattress... So you if you're looking for the mattress it. at about a 30 degree angle uh -huh. from the stairs, okay. if you just simply go straight out there mm -hmm. uh, and you'll find it, uh, depending upon tide, anywhere from 5 to 12 feet uh, as it uh, tapers down as okay. you go further out there. And it's a great point to uh, get everyone together before and after the dive. Okay. And then from there you can launch into uh, either one of the uh, points of interest. Max step, things like that. So so for the uh, birdcage is usually around 35 feet, depending, okay. depending on tides, and the mushrooms at about 42 feet. Any advice in terms of if I'm a beginner, if I'm an expert, who should be looking to dive this uh, So it's an excellent dive for beginners. It's nice shallow, there's excellent light penetration, and uh, as you get a little more experienced uh, and uh, get your certifications as a night diver, highly recommend it, because the sea life uh, transitions beautifully right. at the evening. You can see uh, squid, octopus, and uh, some excellent decorator crabs as well. Guys, we have someone really important and awesome to introduce you to. This is David Berg, our new Tsunami Scuba Chief Instructor. So David, welcome to Okinawa. We're really glad you're here. Thank you. I just want to learn a little bit about what you're going to be doing with us. Uh, well, my, my title here, my job here is going to be overseeing and helping out our, our instructors that are working here already mm -hmm. and uh, helping promote Con Ed courses as well as leadership courses. Okay, so a little bit about your background and what brought you to Okinawa. I'm originally from northern Minnesota. I started teaching scuba there in the summer of 1999 wow. and I left there for Las Vegas, Nevada in late 2002. Uh, I started teaching scuba there and I also worked for some of the water shows on the Strip. So it sounds like a huge difference from Vegas to Okinawa. So what are you looking forward most uh, in terms of diving out here? Oh uh, yeah, huge difference. There's a lot of history here with, uh, with uh, military and with wars right. in the past, so I'm looking forward to diving in those situations. Okay, so if you're looking forward to diving this upcoming season or you want to take a course with Tsunami Scuba, you'll definitely see David around. Thank you, David. So when we're talking about really popular sites, this is actually a really important safety tip. So yeah. Gary, what are we talking about this month? Well, we're along the seawall and uh, the first thing we tell people when they get here is they need to abandon their rub rubber bottom boots and yes. go with the felt bottom boots. <laughs> and today we have a classic example of why. We're at the bird cage and the algae growing along the uh, steps and the cement along the seawall as you get in is very slippery on our street shoes. So imagine it's the same on, on the rubber bottom boots. So the felt tip have a lot more traction for us. So whether you like it or not, you're gonna need felt bottom boots. At the end of last year, we mentioned that our foster facility is undergoing some renovations. So keep a lookout for changes later this month. We'll see you next month on Dive the Rock.